Hello everyone, welcome to the other video of MBBS Info. In this video, we are going to discuss about the entrance exam of Sachin University. The full name of Sachin University is I am Sachin First Moscow State Medical University. We have already made a video about the entrance exam of this university last year, but there are some changes this year, so we are going to discuss about them. First of all, let us start with the pattern of the exam. So the exam is conducted online on the online portal of the university and you can give the entrance exam from your home using your laptop or computer. There are total two exams. The first one is chemistry and the second one is Russian language. The main exam out of these is the chemistry one because of course you don't know the Russian language. So don't have to worry about it. The main exam is the chemistry one. Both of these subjects exam is conducted on different days and in each subject there are 20 questions and one hour of time is given for the completion of the exam. The result is usually out the next or within two days of giving the entrance exam of the university. Talking about the dates of the entrance exam, so there are no fixed date. There are slots in each month, there are three or four slots. So when you apply for the university, you will get the next slot available and you can give the entrance exam on that day. The previous slot was of 12th and 16th August. So next slot will be in the August end. So if you apply now, you will get to know about the entrance exam dates of the university. Now, like I told you that chemistry is the main exam that you want to focus on. So in chemistry exam, last year the exam was pretty easy and most of the questions were like uh, quite direct. So uh, if I give an example, they would just ask you that uh, which one of the following is an alkene and they will give you some options. So you have to just select the option or they may ask uh, to balance the reaction and uh, things like that. So they will ask you questions like that. If I give an, uh, another example, so like uh, they may ask, they will give you a compound and they may ask you whether it is a salt, oxide, base or acid. So they will ask this type of questions. Uh, but this year the exam was quite difficult. Uh, if I tell you, so most of the questions, they were from physical and inorganic chemistry and most of them like almost 80 to 90 percent of them were numerical questions so you have to uh, solve the answer and you have to mark the correct option and some of the questions were like uh, last previous year also like they will ask, give you a compound and they may ask you like uh, classification whether they are acid base or salt so two or three questions you will get it in that format and uh, two or three questions you can uh, they will ask you to balance the equation so this is the type of questions you will get in this year's entrance exam and the other questions uh, like uh, 80 to 90 percent of the questions they will be like uh, they will ask you uh, they will give you a reaction and they uh, they will provide the mass of both the compounds and they will ask that uh, what is the mass of the final compound formed so you have to uh, solve it and you have to mark the answer. So this year most of the questions are numerical based from physical and inorganic chemistry. The format of the entrance exam is same just as the last year. Only the level of questions and the type of questions have changed this year. The restrictions are open for the entrance exam of the university. So when you apply, first of all you have to give the entrance exam and you can give the entrance exam in the next slot available by contacting us on this number. If you have any doubt regarding the entrance exam, you can comment down below or you can feel free to ask us on the call or on WhatsApp. For more such informative videos, you can also visit our YouTube channel where you can find many videos regarding different universities and you can also find uh, our discussion with the students who are currently studying in Russia to get to know about many other things as well. So you can visit our YouTube channel and watch those informative videos as well. So thank you for watching this video and have a good day.